you know, you just have to take your time and build them up. It's going to be hard for any freshman to come in here right now and start to be that guy, but we're counting on some guys to come in and give us depth. You know, we have to take a slow and make sure that we're not overloading the and burning out. Well, again, that's that's where you can't put too much on them so early. Uh, we did it two years ago with Drayvon and, and thought that he was he could handle it more than him, but and he did. I mean, he ended up having a really good year, but. You know, not a lot of guys are like that, so you just have to take your time and make sure that you're not overloading them, especially in the middle, because then August is easy because it's all football, and there's no real game. So, yeah, they get a little rest time, but then when school starts, you start playing that game. Mid-season, it's hard to make adjustments at that You know, you just have to just hone in and make sure that you take it slow, and, and you know, you want them peaking in October. Well, you do have some freshmen coming early for this Bring in my series, Donahue, and Instinct Guy. One of those. What's your take on him? How much of an advantage did that give him? No, it's, it's a ton of it. I mean, for him, you know, he's, all, he's like a sophomore. You know, he's right now. I feel really good about the, where he's at, the way he works. He understands it, and again, he physically, he's ready. You know, he went through 15 days of practice and held up fine. And, you know, he's a smart kid. You know, he gets all his knees. He's just he's different. So, but again, he's not a guy that we want to say, "Hey, game one, you're playing 80 snaps." He's a to it, but we're definitely counting on him. Let's talk a little bit about the, the conditioning within the offseason for the guys. I mean, they were all tweeting about the hill today, running that. Um, the importance of, of doing something like that for, for a group like this to, to get Well, the one thing it does, it, you know, when you see your teammates going through the same thing that you're going through, and, you know, it's hard, right? it, it pulls them all together, number one. Number two, I mean, our stress staff, you know, they're around them right now. This is the most important time for them. You know, it's it's crucial, and they spend more time with Coach Joseph than really they do with us. And those guys do a great job of getting them ready to go from a physical standpoint. But, you know, again, you're here all summer long. You know, you don't have many distractions at this point. You know, three-quarters of the students are gone, and it's football in school right now, which is, uh, which is good for our guys. And then we, you know, this is time for them to get tight and get close and, and go through it all together. How beneficial is it to have someone like Mike Joseph leading those guys? In? Uh, you know, I think Mike's the best in the business. I mean, he does a great job uh, with our kids. They trust him. They believe in him. And, you know, Daryl, Kevin, Chad, Alex, uh, and that whole staff, I mean, they just they do a great job with him.